good morning good morning we're down on a uh, quick beach check down on uh, at West Wind Inn Beach it's currently 6.30 a.m. and sun is rising in a few minutes oh look this is incredible we have found this is incredible look at this you are not going to believe what i have just found this is from a nesting turtle this is incredible stuff i've never ever seen this live myself and been the first one to it this is what they look like once they're found this is the you can see where the flippers are actually moving along either side wow that's incredible and then you we're gonna see up here is where the turtle's nest is and you can see where it's all disturbed around the outside there man that is incredible so we are the first to see this loggerhead tortoise tortoise <laughs> turtle coming up out of the ocean wow first time 21 years i've lived here and i've never seen it firsthand this is what they look like once they're protected and in about 10 minutes actually at sunrise starting at the lighthouse down that way there'll be some volunteers coming around in an atv they will check to see if there are any of these around and we know there are because there's one right in front of me so that is absolutely incredible i've never seen that before never been the first to a turtle's nest let's look at it again you can see where it came out of the water here and this is why on sanibel they don't allow if you look up on the beach there, there's no lighting on the buildings on the beachfront and this is for the exact reason why you can see where the turtles come up one side and then if you look at the top, you can see it's return journey. Well, if you have lights on the beach, it can actually throw them off and uh, they end up turning around and getting t uh, going the wrong way. So absolutely incredible stuff. I don't know if you can actually see, you can see where the flipper marks are, each one as it goes up. And it's kind of a, see that, see that there? You can see where, the, where each one, each indent of where the, the fin has parted the sand and then just come up and then you can see they go as far up as they can to keep the eggs safe from tides and uh, they'll normally try and go into a bush or something to avoid predators like raccoons and things like that so it's right in the sea oats there you can see where the disturbed sand is and uh, amazing stuff something I totally didn't expect and I'm um, totally blessed to have witnessed it literally 21 years i've lived here i've never ever been the first to see a turtle nest in action so incredible day day for me i'm glad i could share it with you this was not scripted i was walking down the beach to check it out um, just to check the beach out see what it's like and what a what a glorious thing to bump into absolutely incredible so uh man that's made my day really has i mean it's not like i said this is what they do they put the chicken wire it's like a chicken wire that stops digging from raccoons and things like that they have a uh, do not disturb um and it, it lets you know you know the the night there's a code code for the turtle and then there's some facts about the turtles on there and then you can see another one down there actually i can see one two three four five and then they blend into each other that way and a few that way so again incredible morning totally blessed get to see this turtle nest before anybody else and look at that all the way up the beach goes to lay its eggs incredible um, there is the turtle nest here and the SCCF is making its morning rounds looking for turtle nests and I'm sure I won't need to point it out but we will anyway but uh, 
There we go, he's just giving us the wave, I'll just point it to the direction of it. And there they go, so they're going to mark it off, they're going to log everything down. The sea turtle research. And there they go. Hey guys, very cool, it was very cool to see this morning. Just tell me a little bit about how the process so you're going to come across and mark it all uh, right so we're out every morning we check for our new crawls so this is a crawl from last night and right. we're going to check to see if it's a nest or if it's just a false crawl where sometimes she just comes up turns around and leaves again right so we're going to check now okay see if it's cool actually a nest. and then once they're done they're going to put up a pen if it is uh, a nest they'll put up a pen like that and you can see all the wire mesh on the front and uh It'll be safe for another day. Now they say it could be a false crawl. To me, it looks like it might have been a false crawl, but who knows? Um, they're looking now. Um, don't see any markings back in there, but... So yeah, she came up here, but it doesn't look like she She nested. didn't nest, okay. So she came up, doesn't look like she nest. She turned around and went back down again. But uh, very cool to see. Anyway, that's how the process works. Um, if it was a nest they would have been marking it off with uh, sticks like this and with the mesh to stop the predators and they'll go on to the next one find the next one so what a treat to see that in the morning thanks guys have a good day